In this COVID-19 pandemic, everyone is susceptible to heightened levels of stress and fear. And for those living with mental health conditions, the crisis can intensify distress and anxiety. The pandemic is disrupting normal life for many people all at once. So here are some helpful ideas for you and your family. Build a daily routine that can help support a sense of predictability and control. Even if it's just for a few hours during the day, this can help you feel more productive. Not attending Friday prayers can also throw off your week. So try to maintain Friday prayer at home through the virtual halakas and online streaming of khutbas. The same logic applies to sleep habits. Stick to your regular bedtime and establish a solid sleep routine. Try to wake up every morning at the same time and leave sleep-ins for the weekends to mark them as special. Build simple mindfulness practice into your day to help strengthen your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This can include deep breathing exercises, meditation, and yoga. Mindfulness is a way to help increase your self-awareness and your awareness of your thoughts and feelings and act in accordance to your Islamic faith despite your nefs and your desires. Maintain a connection with your community. If you are feeling isolated from your friends and loved ones, try to schedule regular daily or weekly video and phone calls with those that bring you comfort and joy. Check in on your neighbors and vulnerable people of the community to lend a helping hand to see if they're doing well and to provide supplies if needed. Don't give up on your physical health at this time. Make it a part of your daily routine. And something is better than nothing at all because physical activity contributes to mental well-being. It is entirely possible to work out in a confined space with limited to no equipment. Numerous coaches and gyms have moved their programming online. So it is possible and easy to find ways to work out at home. And when it is permissible, go outside for a breath of fresh air. Go for walks, bike rides, do some gardening and yard work. Limit news and media input to specific times in your day. For example, once in the morning and once in the evening, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed by news overload, but yet compelled to stay up to date. Set limitations to your news intake on a daily basis. And try to find opportunities to explore stories that show positive and hopeful recovery of people in our community. Make the best out of this time and consider the hobbies that you can now develop with all the free time on your hands. For example, you can experiment more in the kitchen or increase your reading list or even designate a few minutes in your day to learn a new language. Lean on Islam as a source of inspiration, positivity, joy and comfort and incorporate faith into your daily routine. Continue to nurture your Islamic faith and core Muslim values to help you make sense of what's going on. The home may feel very chaotic right now, so it's a wonderful time to practice our Islamic values of patience to others, of compassion to others, and self-compassion, acknowledging that it is a difficult time for us right now and that it is okay to feel frustrated and helpless. Be kind to yourself. You are not alone. Ask for help when you're feeling overwhelmed and reach out to the mental health initiative. In times like this, it is our sense of community that is most important. And remember, we're all in this together.